Returning to the church building is an important decision, and we recognize that everyone comes to that decision in a different way. St. Thomas's building is a place of community and connection and love, and we all have missed being here. A few common questions have started to emerge as we reopen the building, so we thought it might be helpful if we provide information about these questions to all of you, because you might be wondering about them too. A reopening committee was formed and has been working with the clergy, staff, and leadership of St. Thomas to put into place the policies that the diocese has set forth during this time. Much of what you love about St. Thomas will still be present. There will be friendly faces to greet you at the door, to show you the way. The only difference is that these friendly faces will be behind masks. Single-use bulletins will be provided for you each week. They will take the place, just for now, of the Bibles, prayer books, and hymnals that are normally located in the pew. You'll also notice that the beautiful kneelers have a little bit of a different purpose right now. We have placed kneelers in each of the pews where we ask for the seating to not be utilized. The places where we invite you to sit are the ones marked with the yellow tags. Hand sanitizing stations are positioned throughout the building. As you first come in the doors, in the nave or the body of the church, and also one is located in each pew for your use. We recognize that seeing one another again is gonna be really exciting. So what we've done to help you, to remind you about that safe distance is we have placed some stickers down the center aisle to remind you of the six foot distance that we ask you to keep while you're in the building. This will be helpful as you're entering the building, exiting the building, and also as you approach for communion. Some of the safety measures that we've put into place are not quite as obvious as others. So we'd like to draw your attention to the fact that all the filters inside the church building have been replaced. They've been upgraded with the MERV 13 filtration system. We also have added a freestanding filtration system on the balcony as well. We will not be passing the collection plate during this time. So we invite you to leave your gifts and offerings in the collection plate as you enter the building. If you'd like to give online, please visit stthomaswhitemarsh.org backslash giving to be able to find the many ways that you can give a financial gift to the church. The balcony will be closed during this time because we're excited to be able to provide a small portion of the choir to be able to lead us in song. We recognize that music is an important part of who we are as a gathered community for worship, and we wanted to make sure that we could provide that in some way. The congregation is asked to not sing during this season, and that can be something that's so hard to do. Lifting our voice in praise is a natural way to respond to our gratitude to God and to be a part of community worshiping together. We did want to give you a way to participate, so when you gather and you enter the church, please look on the right-hand side. On the bench, you will find a collection of bells, and you're invited to take one and ring it out at the appointed times so that you can lend your voice to the music that we make together. Each person that enters the building is asked to wear a mask or some face covering. This includes the priests, the readers, the deacon, and all those who are serving at the altar. We will continue to offer the sign of peace to one another during church. We ask that you please stay in your pew and offer a bow, a wave, or a peace sign to those around you. We will continue to celebrate the Eucharist when we gather on Sunday mornings. We will receive in one kind, which means that the bread will be the only part of communion that we receive at this time. Please know that that is considered a full communion and that we will reintroduce the cup when it's safe to do so. We give thanks for the Altar Guild 
who continues to do their faithful work behind the scenes. A separate set of communion hardware will be used for each service to ensure that we're doing our best to provide a clean and safe experience. A live stream of the 10 o'clock service will be offered each week. You can find it by visiting the homepage of the website. We lift up the Ministry of the Flower Guild and we give thanks for their contribution and helping to create a beautiful space for us all to worship. The feeding ministries that we're involved with need our help more than ever. Please consider bringing a donation when you come for worship and also know that there are collection buckets on the front porch of the office that you can leave donations at any time. Following each worship service, our Buildings and Grounds staff is working diligently to disinfect and sanitize each space. We invite you to reference the website as often as possible and read your weekly emails to see the most up-to-date information about our church community. An online sign-up is available on the homepage of the website as well as the weekly emails. If you're someone who's not accustomed to navigating those systems, please call us at the office at 215-233-3972. Whether you're watching at home or in the church building, together we are the gathered body of Christ.